Happy Tuesday, Wildcats. This is Mrs. Prowl with your morning announcements. Congratulations to Allie from fifth grade for being the final treasure chest winner for the Book Blast Adventure Fundraiser. We would like to also remind everyone that the free iPad drawing is coming up as well. So please listen up. But remember, whoever wins this iPad, do not open it until you get home. We will also like to say that we hope fourth grade has an amazing time at the NC State Museum. Please take lots of pictures and learn a lot. Also, fifth grade is going to West Rowan Middle School to visit this campus, so we hope you guys have a great time looking at your new home. Just as quick reminder again, e-learning Thursday is happening this week, so remember this is where you go home and you work on things online that your teachers have posted. And guys, don't forget, we have Easter break coming up. Easter break starts from Friday of this week all the way until Tuesday of next week. So after your e-learning Thursday, we want you to relax and enjoy your family for Easter break. And lastly, my April crew. I know that you guys are going to West Rowan Middle School today. So if you guys are able to come back on time during your learning lab, please come on down so we can go ahead and get started with the awesome April crew morning news. If not, I will see you guys on Wednesday. And don't forget, the March crew will be there to help you along the way. Have a great day, guys, and we'll see you soon. This is the part of the show where we hear a fact of the day. Let's see what it is today. So in this week's video, we thought it would be cool to take a look at how different cultures around the world celebrate Easter in unique, fun way. In Australia, they moved away from the Easter Bunny and replaced it with an Easter Bilby, or Bilby, an endangered animal. Because in Australia, bunnies are considered pests and they destroy the land. In Florence, Italy, they celebrate an Easter tradition known as Explosion of the Carp. Here they pack a cart full of fireworks. They walk it down the street, and then during the Easter Mass, the Archbishop lights a fuse and sparks a lovely firework display. In some parts of Greece during Holy Saturday, people will throw large clay pots of water out the windows onto the streets. Some say this is to symbolize getting rid of the old and bringing in the new. In Poland, it is actually a tradition to try to pour water on one another. This is known as Wet Monday. Here on Easter Monday, people try to drench each other with buckets of water, squirt guns, or anything else they can get their hands on. Who knew you can have a water fight during Easter? How cool! For lunch today, it is baked ziti, hoagie or chef salad, California blend vegetables, mixed green salad, peach cup, and milk. Commercial break! Good morning, Wildcats. Happy Tuesday. It's time for Wolf's Words Wisdom. Today I want to talk to you about something strange that you might see in the next couple days. You may see adults acting like kids. You might see them popping into classrooms, hunting for peeps, taking peeps, hiding peeps. They're in a competition. Everybody on staff is in a competition to see which team, which grade level, which team can collect the most peeps by Thursday. So you'll see it today and tomorrow, but then obviously we'll finish on Thursday. So the object is for you not to touch them. Your teacher may ask you to kind of hide one by your desk or something like that, but you cannot touch any of the peeps as a student. It's just for the adults. But I just wanted to worry, warn you that things might get a little crazy because we got some very competitive staff out here. So again, look out, be on the lookout for people kind of popping in your rooms, looking around, taking a peep and running out, whatever it takes. We're the big team, the team that wins gets lunch off campus. So that very uh, steep competition going on. So anyway, but I want you to work hard today and make it a great Tuesday. And we need to celebrate. Now it's time to celebrate, celebrate. We would like to say happy birthday to all those that have a birthday today. Make sure if you see them in the hallway, you wish them a very happy birthday.
And now it is time for Can You Guess Tuesday? Wow. Eraser puzzle to look for hidden objects? You can see that the picture is too wide to fit on the screen, so it'll move slowly across the screen. That way, you can see the whole thing and find all of the hidden objects. It's a busy day at Lion's Barber Shop. The line for haircuts and mane trims is all the way out the door. Mr. Lion's customers really love his work, but he can't give good haircuts unless he has plenty of combs. Help him find the hidden combs as the picture moves by and count out loud as you find each one. There are 25 hidden combs, and in this round, you'll have 25 seconds to see the whole picture. Find the hidden combs. Ready to start? Let's go. did you find? If you found 10 or more, you made the cut. Okay. Can you imagine actually having a lion cut your hair? If he did a great job, he would definitely be your main man. That's all, folks.